hey guys i have my mic on don't know why i just told you that um i don't usually film videos standing up so my mic on is my mic being on is kind of like a weird because it's so far away from me hope that's okay anyway you probably wonder why i'm standing up and it's because i bought some things off asos and i need you guys opinions on how those things look i mean who would have thought i actually have more than just this much of my body like that's crazy that i'm actually a a human a standing human being that's cool anyway i'm gonna get dressed and you guys are gonna tell me what you think uh i'm glad i'm editing this video because i don't want to keep on turning it off to get dressed so i bought one pair of jeans because i don't usually buy a lot of jeans i have a few that i like and then i'm just kind of like i'll stick with these so i bought a pair and they are from topshop but they're on asos how do you guys pronounce asos because i pronounce it asos but i know some people pronounce it asos I just like to keep it simple and call it what it is, aka ASOS, you know? Anyway, these are from Topshop. They are mum jeans, uh, waist 24, length 32. I hope that fits me. Oh my god, that's a UK 4? Do I think I'm skinny? Wow, that's... That was bold. That was a bold move. Are these going to fit me? Okay, well, the waist is high. I'm hoping... Uh, you guys can't even see the... Okay, anyway, this is what they look like. They are like that, and then they have some rips, which I thought could be a vibe. I'm gonna put these on because I have a lot of t-shirts to try on, and I could try them on with the jeans, even if they don't necessarily match. I could still do that. Oh God, these are... This sizing was definitely a choice that I made. I actually think these are fine. Oh my God, are they a bit too big? Oh my god, these are so cute though. Okay, with a belt, to be fair, I'm glad that there is a little bit of room for me to breathe because sometimes you go to a restaurant and you wear a certain pair of jeans and then you eat a little bit and then you can't breathe. And then you have to like undo the button under the table and that just gets a little bit awkward for everyone involved. So I'm glad these have a little bit of room to breathe. I can't, like, waist 24, who am I? <laughs> Kylie Jenner? Wish. Anyway, these are very nice. I'm going to try and walk back walk back this is what they look like <laughs> this is the fit i think they fit great they're loose and they have these um rips for breathability is that the word for breathing power for my legs you know uh anyway i like them and i'm gonna keep them on now <laughs> um okay so i have one of these t-shirts it's kind of see-through-ish so i guess i'll just have to wear something like this under it if i tuck it in a little bit um yeah i'm perfectly fine with this this is um that basic look that i go for every day of the week because i'm not adventurous enough there's always okay however i always buy one adventurous thing always i'll always have an asos order and i'll always put in one adventurous thing and then i never wear it so my wardrobe ends up just being like these weird adventurous clothes that still have tags on them because I think that one day I'm gonna put them on and I never do so that's cool I'll see you guys in a minute okay so I heard tie-dye was coming back and everyone on TikTok is making DIY tie-dye t-shirts and I'm not talented enough so I just bought one that is already tie-dye it is from um so if I okay so um I think if I do a little tie up situation okay let me just tuck that in there for some content okay um yeah I am I'm perfectly fine with this outfit. This is okay. Let me just tie it up properly because this is now annoying me. Um, so tie it up properly. Tie it up. Tie it up. Do a little bun and then flip it inside out. <laughs> and then pull these out. Yeah, no, I'm I'm completely absolutely fine with this. An aesthetic I'm willing to do. This is called once again. I am basic. I bought one of these because I think these colours are like in, but also the model looked really good in it. But then, you know, sometimes the way things look uh, on them is not the way it looks on us. So I'm going to once again do a little tie because that's how she had it. And I think this is like um, a boyfriend fit or something, which I can definitely see. I think this one's so much more loose than the other one. I actually wish I got the other one in a bigger size, but uh, how, you know, you never know what the fit's going to be like. Okay, so do a little and then flip it inside out and then... I, um, you do. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me just put that around. Okay, let's just leave it like that for a minute. Oh no, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna live with that. Okay, um, 
once again, we love the basic look. This is um, a beauty. It, it looks fine. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm probably gonna wear the out of this. And I have the same one. Uh, I bought two of the same one. I didn't realize, but this one has a white tick instead of a black tick, and it's a mustard yellow because I like this shade. Uh, let me do the tie up thing again, trying to see how it looks on me with my skin tone. Because sometimes yellow just just looks bad, you know. Okay. Um. I tied it up wonky, but I mean, we're gonna just live with that. Um, I think this once again looks good. Why does it look good though? Because I picked the most basic items that I know are gonna look good. You know, never step out of your comfort zone and then you won't be disappointed. Okay, my hair is a complete mess from all the times that I've now changed. But this is the slightly more experimental look. This is um, what I see people like Emma Chamberlain wearing. You know, all the quirky girls wearing their polo t-shirts and I wanted to get in on the hype. So here's my little polo t-shirt. I, um, yeah, this is, this is it. This is the, this is what it looks like. It's a polo t-shirt. I don't know what, what I expect it to look like. I expect it to look like a polo t-shirt. So I don't know why I'm, this is it. It's a little bit creased. Okay, so I, um, hmm, it's a dress. And I'm not gonna wear a black bra under it because obviously that's not the aesthetic we're going for, but it's a dress, it's pink, it's comfortable. Step back, hi, step in. This is what it looks like. I like it because these are dresses that you can wear on just a random day and not feel like you're doing too much, but also like, you know, you're not absolutely melting in the heat. So this is the, the dress that I, I bought, it's a dress. It fits well. I look like I am wearing my duvet. I'm not sure what I thought was happening with this sizing, but it definitely wasn't this. Thanks, ASOS. Uh, I wonder what size this is. Oh, it's an extra small. Okay, this is obviously not an outfit that goes together. I should have tried this on with the jeans, but it's just the pastel crop top that I really like because it looks kind of vintagey um, but it's not and yeah it's just little pastel swipes Sh swipes I mean stripes that's what I meant to say stripes but also I got myself some new pair of a new pair of biking shorts I just like these shades as you can tell I like the pinks and the pastels and I also like black and white that's essentially what my whole wardrobe is if you guys were wondering and then I got another pair of biking shorts how shocking is that? I just love these because when you sit down on things, uh, it's not like shorts where you're just like sticking to stuff. Like maybe if you sit on like a, like a leather seat or like, maybe when you sit down on like a plastic seat or like a leather seat, uh, in shorts you're just gonna sweat. But when you're wearing actual like short leggings, essentially is what they are, Viking shorts, you're not gonna sweat as much. I started out looking very different in this video. Um, this is what happens when you try on a lot of things. I think I have like, two dresses to go, maybe. I'm like, I'm like out of breath. I forgot about this one top that I was supposed to put on with the jeans. And it's definitely a jeans kind of a top, but I'm gonna put on the biking shorts because I am a joke. This is definitely not a biking shorts kind of a, a top, but it's um, cute. Um, this is obviously a, a going out kind of a top, which we're not doing much of right now. I mean, restaurants are starting to open up in England because we actually, you know, semi followed the rules. Some countries can't say the same, not calling anyone out, but you know. You know who you are. <laughs> but this is, um, it's just, it's a little tube top thing and it's got little poofy sleeves. You can imagine it with like mom jeans, a nice handbag, a belt. You can see it, jeans. Imagine I'm wearing jeans and not, this is, this is a look guys, an outfit. If I've ever seen one. Okay, well, glad. Glad we're out of that scheme now. You can tell I'm just like profusely sweating right now. Okay, I'm wearing the biker shorts underneath because um, can't be able to take them off. But it's just a little dress. Wow, how cute. Anyway, that'll be great for when I actually leave the house. Making lots of plans here to leave the house and it doesn't look like I'm gonna leave anytime soon. Okay, so that'll be it for today's video. I'm keeping most of the stuff that I bought, of course, because I always pick stuff that I know I'm gonna like. Um, and that's the beauty of spending money and that's it, spending money is just get stuff that you know you're gonna like and then you have nothing to return. So, you know, 
no money comes back into your bank account, which is great. Anyway, um, I'm back in my attire. I want to do like a before and after of my face. Look how sweaty I am. And look at my hair. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, anything you want to comment down below, including which of these you actually like and which you don't, don't hurt my feelings though, please be nice. And yeah, hit, uh, subscribe, hit that bell, you'll know when everything's happening. Social media links and my other channel in the description, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.